We're going to talk about motivation and um, I'll start by just describing what Agile People is, because maybe you have no previous experience from Agile People. So Agile People is a community, a worldwide community with people who believe in a better way when it comes to how we run organizations in a complex world. Um, in Agile People, we are all passionate about combining Agile and people to create conditions for a workplace where people feel happy and have what they need to perform in an optimal manner, I could say. And we have taken the values and principles from the Agile Manifesto. We have mixed with the modern Agile framework. We spiced it up with our own Agile People Manifesto that you find on agilepeoplemanifesto.org. And from there, we created 35 principles that we believe that all organizations, regardless of size or industry, need to increase. But today, we are not going to talk about the 35 Agile People principles. Today, we are going to talk about motivation and employee engagement. Uh, why do people do what they do? What has that to do with basic needs? So how do we see what is really employee engagement if we look at it? It's, it's actually an equation between employee satisfaction and organizational contribution. And here you can see that one is not enough. It's not either or, it's always both. For example, if you're just a satisfied employee, uh, like in this picture, it would be high value on the x-axis. You are certainly happy, but you don't contribute a lot to the organization's goals and the vision. We can call them honeymooners or happy sleepers. Uh, and if you are only contributing to the organization's goals, always hitting the targets every month, uh, that would be high values on the y-axis in this picture, you probably don't feel very good. We call these employees crash and burners. So when you have high values on both employee satisfaction and organizational contribution, you are a highly engaged employee. And how do we create those highly engaged employees? It's by creating a system where people can achieve both and by understanding their basic needs and helping them to fulfill them. This is what is, engagement is all about, the system and the needs of the people. So if we can create those conditions for motivation and engagement, we will have happier also and more loyal customers who will contribute more to the profit of the company and a profitable business is almost always necessary to reach the purpose or, or dream um, that we want to reach with our, the, the reason for existence um, for our organization. So for me and for, I know that Richard Branson would agree here, uh, it starts with happy employees. Because if you don't have happy employees, you will not have satisfied customers either. And you don't have anybody who could create the value for customers that would be necessary to have a profitable organization. A global investigation made by Gallup called um, State of the Global Workforce is the name of this um, report. It was conducted, conducted last time in 2014 to 2016 in 155 countries all across the world. Hundreds of thousands of employees were part of this survey and they come from all industries and all different kinds of roles and all different 
parts of the world. And this is the result. Only 15% on average in the world are engaged. 67% are indifferent and 18% are actively disengaged. So these are alarming figures, of course. Um, so you see that the actively disengaged people, we actually just want to get rid of them because they could do things to harm their employer. Of course, we need to take care of the, the green ones, the actively engaged people. Um, but the big bunch in the middle, the 67% here is where the real return on investment is. If we put our money there and help them to become more engaged, then we can really see um, some results on the bottom line. So, this is how they did this investigation. They asked the same 12 questions to 230,000 employees from different industries. And the questions indicate the engagement level with the employees. And it's about clarity of goals. It's about growth and development opportunities. It's about feedback. And even if people have a best friend at work. So you see the first question, I know what is expected from me at work. Number two, I have the materials and equipment to do my work right. Number three, at work, I have the opportunity to do what I do best every day. That you have received praise and recognition for doing great work. Or that somebody at work seems to care about me as a person. And there is somebody at work who encourages my growth and development. And my opinions seem to count. Or the mission or purpose of my organization inspires me. You know, it's these things and it's about leadership. It's really about how we see people, how we make it possible for them to perform and work in, in our organizational system. And um, it's not a lot about salaries in here. It's more actually about being seen, being heard and being cared for as a human being, because these are our basic needs. So Gallup concludes in the same report that businesses that orient performance management systems around basic human needs for psychological engagement get the most out of their employees. And here it becomes really interesting because basic human needs for psychological engagement, what are those really? And how are we going to find out? Thank <music> you.